Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part, this is part 3 of our Caesar in Gaul campaign for Rome 2 Total War. So yes, uh, already uh, in part 2 we did start our war with the Arverni here, probably our main rival in this campaign and already it's going pretty well, we managed to take um, Devona off them, uniting the province of Narbonensis and now we are pushing on into Gagovia and we're going to try and take their final two provinces in this uh, part along with hopefully we can try and deal with uh, the Vavisci in Aquitania, maybe unite that province as well. As you can see we are starting to upset a lot of people in Gaul with our campaigns and our expansion. And yeah, our only other sort of ally, I guess the Remy in the north are gone. I mean, they weren't really our ally, but um, I guess they're only the friendly faction. Um, but yeah, all the other factions here that were at one point friendly to us are starting to, uh, to dislike us. To I mean, like, look at that. Yeah, the Algebrogis are more friendly with our Verni than with us. And we have treaties Greetings. with them. Now speak plainly. So a that's not good. Yeah, I'm a, right, I'm getting rid of her once and for all. But yeah, as you, can, you can see here, Although my ancestors... we are a client with the Viconti, but they, they get on better with the Arverni than they do with us. That is a bad sign. Um, so yeah, we will end. Uh, actually, I was going to say we'll end the turn, but we have a fair bit of money. We have two grand, and we have some upgrades that we need to do. So uh, I'm guessing we'll go with replenishment. Try and help with that. And then what else have we got? Oh yeah, Antony is over here, sieging down the Marsus, the capital. Could upgrade the, uh, the Temple of Vulcan, but uh, we'll see if there's anything in Italy that we can upgrade first. A better farm, maybe. Um, again, we've got a Temple of Vulcan there that could be upgraded, or um, in Helvetia, it looks like we're just slowly building up some population, getting to six. Growth is looking good. Um, yeah, I guess we'll build a bigger farm here. It does do some damage to our public order, but that should be fine. We're plus 16 here in Italy. We are happy people there. Uh, and then, can we build any other units? I doubt it. I don't think Caesar needs any either. No, he doesn't. But he can move on, actually. So we'll have Caesar, I guess, move on this way. Oh, no, we were going to have a rebellion. Ah, crap. Can he get back? He can get back. All right. Caesar, get back there. And then we'll end the turn. Oh, no, we have a province that we can put stuff in. Okay, I guess it's Narbonensis here. And we'll go for... We'll go for bread and games for now, and we can change that once it's sort of more pacified. I mean, it's only minus 14 at the moment. This should be okay, and that's going to change radically once the conquest is over next turn. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, but we'll end the turn for now, and we'll see what happens. And our Bernie begging like men of many to become things. a client state Begin and to decide swords for money, but I am not going to. We're going to destroy them. If it's the last thing we do, and the Vavisci are back, oh god, and they just took Sotium. God damn it. Rebellion in Sotium, that was hilarious though, because the rebels have just taken Sotium off them. Okay, brilliant. We will go in and deal with them. Actually, let's first let's deal with the Vavisky just outside. Make haste, men. Oh, no, let's just declare war. I do not want to do anything else. Let's go and kill them. Caesar just killed these rebels off. How dare they rebel against Rome? There we go, that should be fine. We, re we now have reclaimed this province, and I don't even know what we were building here. That's the problem. Um, I'm going to guess a meeting place. We need something for happiness. And then also, I don't know. Put in a pit mine, I guess, to try and help with the economy here. And then we could move on. Devona is fairly happy. What else could we build here? Hmm. What else do we need? We can put in a meeting place. At your command. Then we have the first Gallica. It could go north to uh, Duro Tincom, or we could go across to Bergala. And it's plus one as Devona, so we'll we'll, uh, we'll go in this direction. And we'll march up there. Let's send our spy over to the Bird of Gala, see what they have over here. A shadow among shadows. We've got a fleet, but that is it. I feel like we can deal with that. And what do we have here? The Aedia marching armies in my direction as well. I'm not a fan of that. 
I'm going to raise a fourth legion here in Octodoron, I think. I think now is the time for a fourth legion. We could have uh, uh, Gaius Vedius Ocula, the proconsulate of Gallia. He could be a minus five uh, senators. My gosh. Or we could just do Decimus Brutus, Julius Brutus. The guy that eventually goes on to, you know, kill, like, Caesar. I'm pretty sure Julius Brutus is. So we could have him in. That'd be funny. Or Gaius Julius Longinus. I feel we'll go with Longinus. Um, I do recognize him from... Uh, as well, uh, the fourth Fidelis. Yeah, sure, that seems like a cool name. And we'll put some legionaries in here. And Longinus can build our, up another force and he can prepare to defend. It looks like also the, the Vangionis are kind of... The Vangionis are kind of causing a few issues on the border here. Don't really want to go to war with the Germans just yet. I would like to try and maybe deal with, uh, like, this part of Gaul. Maybe we'll push on up or swing across to come and deal with Gaul then. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the AD just marching armies towards my border. That's not a, not a cool... Not cool at all. Let's see. Anthony's army could just take the Mossus. Their garrison's pretty decent. Uh, we'll just carry on besieging it down. Uh, Caesar's done his bit. We've got first Gallica moving. We'll end the turn. And Caesar has an upgrade, of course. I mean, we could go with public order, master tactician, we've already done, a simulator. But if we go down this one, I mean, I guess we could go down here, but cost and stuff like This one is probably the worst one, I think, Commander. It's probably one of the worst ones. I mean, 10% morale for all units is pretty damn useful during offensive battles. Dread. Uh, we'll go Warrior for now. I think we'll stick that in. Gravitas, yeah, why not? And then it just builds on them. We can get the, the the one after, which, yeah, we can then get some insane morale for our units when we're attacking. And we're often attacking as Rome. We are aggressive. Uh, could we get get some Javis? So we'll get some Javis in there as well. And then we'll end the turn. They really this want peace to our Bernie. I'm going to say no again. No. They're desperate. And they, yeah, they're in my lands. The Vavisky also want this. peace. I'm going to say no. We want these provinces. I'm going to unite them. Damn, he did, he did, did in fact just attack me. Okay, what a rude guy. The Vivisky becoming a real problem, a real faff to deal with here. And he just put in a va Oh my gosh, and they get a move as... Oh my gosh, this is a... This is not good, okay. Southern Gaul has actually become a little bit more of a pain to deal with. And they have a, we have a rebellion up here. Caesar is going to be stuck down here for a little while. And they took that as well. Okay, brilliant. My gosh. There's no way he was going to win any of those battles. That is a pain. Right, we're going to need the first Gallia to return. Because we cannot deal with uh, this pain. Oh, wait. Come on. Let's go down here. Take out Aquesa. Um... Tarbellicae first. Stab him in the face. Deal with this guy. Jesus. Uh, what were we build? I don't even know what we were building here. Uh, probably a consecrated ground. So annoying that we can't take the other one. What is here? Three. I mean, everything after that should be well garrisoned. Should be able to defend it. Devon doesn't. Right. I'm coming across to deal with the Vavisky. Caesar should be able to next turn deal with uh Is that all? Should be able to deal with the uh What are they? The Uski who have re returned. Should be able to deal with those that should be Caesar's issue, should be able to deal with that. I could have dealt with the Arvani there. I'm not going to let's siege and take out the monsters. I'm not waiting around. Anthony, deal with them, kill them. Slice and dice this man. There we go. Uh, we won't destroy this. We'll put it in... I mean, we could put it as slavers, or we could put it in a cattle trade, maybe. Delicatessen. Um, let's go with... Let's go with the cattle trader, and then we'll have to destroy that. Let's destroy that as well. And then let's send you north. You can see everything at Berdegala now. 
We could build another legion. I might actually do that. Build another one in Tolosa and then just build. And we can start building up. Let's, let's put um, Brutus in this time. That's your the fifth Martia. Rome needs, good fighters. Rome needs good fighters indeed. And yeah, we'll start to build up these legions and start to get some stuff done. Population surplus in Helvetia. Okay. And shame I don't have any money to build stuff there, but we, we will soon. Gonna build up all these legions and we'll eventually be able to uh, get some stuff done. Garrison armies, yeah, all destroyed. Ah! That annoys me. The Uski and the Vaviski form an alliance. Well, they're gonna die soon. Uh, I think you also need more troops. Yeah, uh, Anthony needs some more troops in his army. We'll go down Strategist because that is the best route to take, in my opinion. And yeah, we'll see what the. Uh, I don't know what the Vaviski are gonna do. They might make a dash for. I mean, if they make a dash for Narbo, then they're going to uh, have to... They're going to have to come out of Force March. I can definitely take Berdegala before they can take... Well, hopefully Narbo. We'll see, though. We'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. And yes, if you have been enjoying this campaign, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. It really does help out the channel. I offer this. If Mavisky really want peace, it's not happening. Not after this. Yuski also want peace? Yeah, it's not happening either. We march on Elembre, Beris, and we take that for ourselves. Yep, capture. Oh, and they didn't even build anything there. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Um, let's put in a civil settlement, Aquitania, and then let's put in... I think I was putting in a manipulative barracks here. That's what we've lost. You can march onto here. Should be able to take that out easily enough. There you go. Junior's... Julius Brutus has got his first uh, sort of victory there. The Vaviski won't be able to move on and do any sort of damage in my lands and raid random places. I'm going to slay these guys. How dare they even dare to defy Rome. Here we go. We're starting at some mass sort of like recruitment now. Uh, yeah, we'll just build a bunch of these. We'll siege them out there. The Mossus, gone down to one of these. We'll put in a, I don't know. We'll put in a Garrison Colonia, and then we're going to put in a Aqueduct as well. Try and help with sort of public order, get the growth going here as well, just so we can, also if we can like build here, the, the better. Right. Let's put in a Suburbia to try and help with the economy. That's your command. And then we'll build a few more units for this legion as well. Oh, literally one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really fancy Vigilates or Levy Freeman. They're just not good enough. Our armies need to be built of legionaries and nothing less and nothing more. Legionaries and only legionaries. Same again for Brutus. I'm going to go down Strategist. You can have two units for all morale. Or like two, two, two units for all morale. Two more. Two Send more morale for all units is what I meant to say. Uh, evading enemy agents, cunning, melee attack skill for all swords armed units. Yeah, let's go with that. Get that in play. Gladius. Uh, is there any skills that this guy over here needs, actually, now I think about it? Yep, he has a whole bunch you could get. Okay, you can also have 2% morale. And then what do we have here? I have a chance of having children. Uh, let's go with morale. Let's go with loaded dice. To boost up morale for my troops. At your service. And yeah, and you can see the Arverni are building a new army. I guess we could send Antony straight after them. The Mosses will take a, a bit of a rebellion problem, but we could get rid of the Arverni once and for all. And once we've done that, then we can sort of just slow down a little bit. Maybe just have a bit of administration. We're finishing our tech on set prices as well, so we'll see an increase in money there. And yeah, actually, our Verni are making a run for it. AOD are returning to their own lands like they should. And Yuski are attacking me. Okay, that's fine. Stab him in the chest. Another easy victory there for Caesar. I'm just enslave them. There's a rebellion in Alembris. Well, that's finished. Military traditions, the Iovi are gone. Mission successful, control 15 settlements. So we got a bunch of money. Objective con uh, issued. Completely control the two provinces either by direct ownership or through client states uh, or military allies. The Arduena 
uh, Silver and Germ Germania Inferior. So, looks like we're going to be going into Germany next. Uh, subject with infamy. Okay, let's see what this guy is wanting this time. Some fool has been caught facing the Temple of Jupiter. Um, hand him over. Let him be punished. But his crimes. You go up here. March. Uh, you can't really continue. You're a plus one at the moment. We're going to Sotium. And then you move up to Devona, I think. Let's put in a civil settlement and then let's go with a trader, I think. Um, we'll carry on sieging that down for now, but I'm going to take out Dura Quantum because that is the final settlement of the Arverni. If we get rid of this, then the strongest tribe in Gaul has been defeated, or at least one. Is you know you can play them in the game. This is probably the strongest tribe. Whether they are actually in this campaign, we'll see. We'll occupy. Excellent. We've got gold as well. We've got gold as well. Oh, such a useful thing to have. Um, that's going to help with the economy very nicely. Destroy that, and then what else have we got here? We could bring... Hmm. Grain silos, maybe? Or do we want to have cattle pens where we get a lot more money? Or do we want food? I mean, irrigation ditches, we don't really need but 42 food right now. Doing pretty well for that. I mean, this gives 150 from farming uh, and agriculture. This gives... Yeah, from like from livestock. So we'll just go with grain silos, I think, for now, because that's just as pretty decent. And we get the replenishment, the extra replenishment, which is nice. Um, Mediolanum Santunum. Well, well, we'll go over here and have a look at the tribes, see how strong they are. I imagine they have full stacks, and that is about it. Yeah, the Pictons here and Santons. Looking fairly strong, but no surprise there. Come, come, let me hear you. I mean, no one's going to want trade, that's the thing. We're, like, really expansionist at the moment. They're hostile to all of us because we're expanding. And they're only fighting. They're not fighting anyone else. That's the problem. These guys are just patiently at peace. Only the Germans are fighting people. And that's for, They're fighting the Nervi, I up here. So, yeah, Arduena Silva is here. And uh, Germania, I think it was Germania Inferior up here. It's the ones that they wanted me to try and go for. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not over there just yet. We're kind of working through Gagovia, which I'd like to try and take the final... Uh, tile fort and also Aquitania and then we can either go on to Sononia or go on to um, Pictavis here which is you know the Pictons looking fairly strong two tiles Santon's just a one yeah we we're getting there we're, we're sort of building up a bit of a power base over here at the moment uh, I guess we have four grand left we'll look at putting some of the money towards more troops and then some of it towards I think um, like better buildings. Common weights of measures, or do we go for field surgery, which gives us public order in all provinces. It gives us 5% army replenishment as well, so I think we'll go for that. So we'll take that, and then let's get the 4th Fidelis over here. I'd quite like to make this army larger first. So we'll go with that. Then that gives us a grand left to do very little with, I think. Octoduron. Yeah, building stuff, building stuff. I think we're building stuff everywhere that we can. So I guess we'll build up the marsh here a bit as well. There we go. Just an extra two legionaries should be enough for him for now. Caesar. Can't really move on. Well, actually, he could. He can move all the way up to there. I mean, what's the garrison here? Yeah, it's okay, but not exciting. I mean, they are pretty battered. So we'll go with that, and then I'm going to try and take Bodegala this turn. Should be easy enough. I mean, we didn't need ex the extra legion, but I have a feeling that Caesar here might lessen the casualties that will spread them, because there's cavalry in here that I don't really want to lose. Yeah, like these cav here, just do not want to lose. Actually, yeah, Caesar's cav's also in pretty bad shape. Uh, Bodegala, we are going to... Uh, we'll put in the... I don't really want to put in the delicatessen, actually. Destroy that. Let's convert this to... I don't know. We'll convert it to a Shrine of Minerva. We'll have to destroy that. 
We've got to actually do need to spend money on like better uh, shrines over here. Aquitani's going to have a lot of shrines actually going on. It's just fine. Does, does not matter. Uh, and then we'll end the turn when we get through all these skills that have just got right. Okay. I think we want uh, either medium siege engines. I think is what we're going to go for next. The Caesar can build some better siege equipment. Whereas Caesar is out of come. I think Caesar has no traits himself to get, but got one here. Um, keep us at the peace. Or do we want to go with unrelenting force? Probably that one. And I don't know if anyone else had any upgrades. Ah, the third Alpina. So Anthony has got some upgrades as well. He can have Tactician for more movement speed. And then he can have Formidable Fighters for his third Alpina. And that will end the turn. And here we go. This is what I feared we would happen. They would spam out a load of uh, troops like this. And now we're going to have a good old fight on our hands here. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Well, we can't lose Anthony. He's one of our most famous generals. We can't afford to lose him. So we'll have to protect him with all our might. But we've got uh, some pretty good troops. Uh, these uh, legionaries slowly getting upgrades. And we'll see what happens. Where is the cap point? Cap point is here. Um, it's certainly a morale bonus. It's not a be all and end all if we hold it or not. Legionaries hold the line. Uh, I've heard just fight a lamb battle, to be honest. I imagine they would... Actually, they have a lot of cav. Mercenary Noble Cav. Yeah, they would beat me in a cav fight. Um, yeah, jeez. This cavalry is insane. I knew they had a, a lot of money, but hey. I didn't think they would spend it so frivolously. Romans ready um, for duty. Let us think. What else do we want to go? We, I mean, we could just put all the legionaries here. We can see what they're going to actually do. Uh, let's keep Anthony safe at least. Anthony is definitely not leaving this area. Uh, the Cav, we might be proactive with it. I don't know. I haven't yet decided. And yeah, well, I guess we'll just see what happens. Why does the AI also, by the way, always pick a foggy or like it's not clear day? It's nothing. It's uh, it's not very hard, you know. Pick a sunny day to fight on. But maybe they're thinking it's going to intimidate our veteran legionaries. It certainly won't. Oh my god, they actually have a lot of Cav. Jesus. Is it all just cavalry? We've got the other general to tier. Yeah, it's just a lot of cavalry. I wonder if they're just going to just charge in. Be idiots. Um, send up another legionary. Gives us yeah, I think they're going to come through that forest. Which, if that's the case, we'll just put some legionaries here. Quick and the cav can just be a support. Jabby can go here. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Ah, here we go. He's gonna. They're gonna probably charge here, right? Brave Romans to Let's a put another one like that. Legionaries. Add another one like that. Ready. There we go. Javi's into these guys, and that'll do a lot of damage. Oh, and they just we carried on through. The enemy's hidden units. Cheers, AI. Cheers. Um, Cav just come this way. Romans Just to protect Anthony. And bring you up here and we'll just protect Anthony. this angle as well. Because that's where they're going to go through by the looks of it. Yeah, I mean, if they send in all their cab first, I'm fine with that. Yeah, here we go. Legionary cavalry. Legionaries. Pack charge. Uh, and then we'll send a cab in and we'll just try and mix it up here. How are these guys doing? Okay, combat even at the moment. Uh, let's bring the art. Uh, let's bring the jabbies over here again. Thought they were going to come around, but they're not. Combat even, losing, not good. Break these guys already! Come on. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Jabbies start to shoot. I'm going to start to just get rid of all these lighter, uh, lighter cab now. units here. Ready. Now. Look at us. Bring up some more legionaries because I think that is going to be where they're going to just start punching through. All the enemy troops coming through there by the looks of it. Loss of wavering, good to see. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. 
Jupiter gives us go, go, go. Get in there. How's the cab doing? He's doing okay. We'll get this general, actually. Shall we just focus him down? Get the general. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. A cavalry battle. It's not really a cavalry battle at all. Uh, cavalry, yeah, just keep fighting in here. Deal with these guys where possible. I can't tell if these guys are losing. That's the only problem. Why can't I see that these guys, if they're losing or not? Annoying. The general, though, is dying quite nicely. Look at that. He is dying very nicely. Sort of also save these legionaries for now. How's the cab doing? Okay, that unit of legionaries is starting to die, though. How are they capturing the point? Not quite sure, because um, they're not even on it. I am on it. They are not. Is that straight? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Uh, yeah, Javi is starting to run out of ammo. That is a bit worrying. Uh, they're in combat. Get out of combat. That'd be why. There's not even any cav units there. I don't know how they managed that. The enemy general. There we go. Enemy general is dead. That is going to make a big difference. Uh, start just keep jabbing like I don't know for the elite cav units. These noble horse are actually what are causing the issue. We await your command. Uh, pull the cab out because we Orders. never know you might need it somewhere else. Legionaries. Double time. And this, our units has used all the this seems like that everywhere they're going in is just here. Okay. Germs. I don't know where the rest of their infantry is. It's just all... No, it's not. There are Gallic Warriors back out. If this is all archers, I'd just send my cab in and we'll go and deal with them. But, yeah, it's not. Uh, let's bring Anthony up. He can do a rally. Rally, men! Send the skirms in. Um, we could try an audacious move, actually. If we could, we could try and squeeze around this gap here, around the side, and then we could go in. Uh -huh. Actually, we will not be doing that. Anthony, pop a rally onto that weakened unit there. Cavalry, you're going in. Cavalry also come round. Send up another legionary. We'll clear out this flank here. And we'll start to roll up this side. Because the cavalry can sneak through here. And then we can go in for the Gallic Hunters. And such like. And here we go. This will start to cause some problems. Our general is under attack. Our general's under attack or just retreat? Sons of Mars. Legionary cavalry. Forward! Advance at speed. Units are holding on just as Cav is just causing absolute Romans problems. Right, duty. carry on in and then go in, go and get these guys. Turn this flank, kill these guys. Okay, pull out. We're going in there. These legionaries, man, they're just so good. Keep killing these Gallic hunters for me. Romans, ready for duty. Winning decisively. Keep killing these Gallic the men troops. Are wavering. Men are wavering. No, they're not. Ah, we might lose that legionary. We might lose a couple of these legionaries. They fought on hard. And these men will be remembered. They fought for their lives. How is this general only just breaking? Right? It's insane. There we go. Healthy Legionaries coming in. And in they go to the side.
where's the cav? Cav's routed everything back there. Come for a couple of hammer and anvils. And then that should be it. We should basically mop up what's left of this uh, damn Gallic invasion with these mercenary goals that the Arverni have called upon. This is be the end of the Arverni once and for all. It won't, won't be Caesar, but Anthony that will be responsible for their destruction. Another one of my uh, units here wavering. Advance at speed. Ready for orders. Yes, Commander. Our men ah. flee the field of battle. All right. This is a shameful display. Fifteen men left. They might, in fact, just. Uh, oh, we don't want to dis. I mean, we'll dismount him. Sure, why not? Commander. Legionaries. Legionary cavalry. Swift melee cavalry. Legionaries. There we go. Starting to rout these guys. And there we go. A mass route starting to take place. We'll continue ever so slightly because I'd like to try and get some of these. Make sure these guys actually stay dead. Pretty mount. I don't know why you weren't. But uh, we'll just fast forward. Make sure these guys stay dead. Stay dead now. No mercy for the Arverni. You guys get butchered down here. A little watching ants scurry around is. It's all in fast forward. Yeah, that should be that should be enough. There you go, a close victory. Yeah, probably was. We lost 500 to the yeah 550. They lost nearly 2,000 though. That cav, yeah, really did not do much. I do love it when the AI just charges this cav in stupidly. There you go. Dealt with. The general is dead as well, so that will help. Caesar can come and help support here if needs be. Yeah, we lost the one legion. This one got the double chevrons. I mean, quite a lot of them are now up double chevrons. Enslave the captives. We got two grand for that. Ali attacked the Vaconti. Well, it looks like we're going to be uh, turning some of our armies around to deal with the Massalians. Are oh, you serious? You're kidding me. All right, this one we can just order resolve by the looks of it. So frustrating when they do this. Uh, I think this is just, yeah, just the garrison army here. So the there you go. Um, we will enslave. And that's the Viski dead. Backspace on your keyboard. Go away. Trade agreement broken with Masali that has damaged our trade quite a bit. Mission failed, raise an army in the following set settlement, Segundum. Well, what was I going to gain from that? Oh, I'll gain some money, I guess. Mission issued, defeat the following uh, army, the 10,000. I am looking at doing that, though. Don't know if we're going to be take, uh, saving Narbo, though. That's for sure. That's the only problem. Why did they come for me? Then they actually attacked uh, the Viconti. Oh, makes no sense. Um... Okay, we built more legionaries as well. We'll send this army. I'm going to send it this way. Back through Italy. And then we'll come out this side. I don't think we have anything here that can recruit anything. We destroyed all the recruiting options here. That's fine. I'm going to send Caesar's army also back towards Narbo. So we'll send that there. And then we'll have... First Gallica here, that can stay here. I don't think we can recruit anything here. Exciting. Let's put in a muster field just to help with that. Build the fountains as well. Yeah, Anthony's Legion, a bit battered, but, you know, I've seen worse states. Build some Javis, some Cav, and then a couple more Legionaries. And then that actually is a, uh, it's a workable Legion. The workable Legion. Um, we have a whole load of... Like buildings that we need to do stuff with as well over here. So, let's put in a suburbia, let's put in an aqueduct, let's convert this to a harbor. Yeah, that's fine. And then let's also put in a shrine to Vulcan, I think. And we'll improve the trench mine. That's all of our money spent there in Aquitania alone, really. Um, which is fine, because that's what the only place where we're really 
needing to have the uh, the money spent. I probably could have done with something else to actually help with... Well, actually, no, Aqueduct's going to help with happiness as well, so that's fine. Um, yeah, we might lose Narbo here, actually, which could be a bit of a pain because it's quite well upgraded. Um, that is going to be annoying. We'll see, though. See whether they carry on. They might turn around and change their mind. Um, but yeah, that is where I'm going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's certainly been interesting. Part 4 is going to be very, very interesting to see how that one goes down. We've got to sort of secure our northern border now. Um, but the southern border with Masali has been sort of uh, damaged. And we'll have the chance to take Masalia for ourselves, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a tough one. It doesn't look like it's they're going to be an easy walkover. This army, well actually, is pretty trash. But I'm sure they can build some decent Greek units given time. But yes, I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you have been enjoying, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I'll see you next time.